So uh, today, as we mentioned earlier, is Bible League Sunday. And uh, you have an opportunity to hear uh, some of what is going on in that commission to make disciples of the nations, to uh, reach people with the Word of God. I would ask that you uh, uh, greet Jerry and Nancy in the name of the Lord, and that uh, we listen and uh, ponder in our hearts uh, what, what we can do, what we can pray to uh, partner with. We've really enjoyed worship so far this morning. You you could go home and, and be fulfilled, you know. You just really have a wonderful pastor, talented, preaches and plays the But yes, we're here today to celebrate. Um, Bible League has been in ex existence for 75 years, so it's a big birthday for us. And... Um, this is the Bible my husband and I use every morning. We have our prayer and share time together. It's called the Easy Reader Bible that the Bible League puts out. Um, and since we're so simple, it works real good for us. <laughs> but the Bible may look different today um, in other countries. Bible League has gotten involved with um, Access Digital Bible Libraries, where if you were to walk around with a Bible like this in your country, um, you might be imprisoned, you might be killed. Um, people just can't do that. But the digital libraries are going on the smartphones and the iPads and the tablets, and they're able to read the Bible. They, they can even share it with other people. Um, if you want to know more about this, talk to Jody. She's, <laughs> she knows a lot about this. I spoke with her for a while this morning, and she has a lot of knowledge about what goes on. One of the other things Bible League is involved in is um, Project Philip. Now, I have some samples out there of what that looks like. Of course, you can't read it because it's right now we're focused on India. But um, for the children's packet, I could have you look at the pictures, and I'm sure your children could tell us which stories these are. So I, I hope you would stop by um, after the service today while you're having your smoothie. That sounds wonderful, too. And um, look at some of the material we have. But with the Project Philip, just like it sounds, remember Philip in the New Testament, um, was instructed by God to go and talk to the eunuch because the eunuch had the scriptures, but he did not understand them. That's what's happened with a lot of people. They may have the Bible, but they may not understand it. So in this program, um, a worker comes alongside them. There is a three-part evangelism program, booklets. They work through them together, and when they make that commitment, they're given the Bible. Unfortunately, we just can't give Bibles out anymore because they've been sold on the black market, they take the pages and they roll up their drugs in them and they smoke them. So, um, but when you earn your Bible, not that you're paying for it, it's, they're never asked for money, um, it becomes more precious to you. And just try to imagine, if, if you could, um, having one Bible and having it be so precious. Do you know how many the average American household has? Four. Four? I heard over here. Six? Eight, nine. Go home and count your Bibles today. Don't only count them, read them. We need to read our Bibles. So I would uh, encourage you to go online. I heard Jody put some stuff on there about Bible League. Um, we have more information in the back. We thank you for your support, and we'd love to talk to you. I usually get in trouble with a handheld mic because I'm always doing this with it, so I'll try not to do that a whole lot. Uh, I'm going to share a testimony out of India that came from one of our groups that visited about 12 or 15 different tribes. I have never been to India, but I am from Indiana, and that might be the closest I may come, so <laughs> we'll just go with that. But this testimony is uh, one of the ladies from Bible League International had the opportunity to go to India, and they were visiting different villages. And one of the villages that they visited was a village that was hard struck by a flood. Wiped out the major part of the village. Uh, food, housing, clothing, anything they had to do and they were in the midst of rebuilding it. And as they spent a day or two with them, there was a one young lady and her name was Sorella. And as they started talking to Sorella, she was a real deep Christian. And one of the questions this lady, Connie, asked her, So, Rella, what is so important about this Bible that you have? She says, Oh, Connie, don't you know that when 
I prayed, I talked to God. When I opened my Bible, God talks to me. And that was just something. And so they had the opportunity to worship with the uh, tribe there. And as they were worshiping and they were getting ready to depart that day, the pastor of that church um, kind of left. And as he came back, and, and they were just amazed at the devastation that took occur, he brought back a Bible. And today that Bible was actually in Bible of the Internationals in Crete. Anybody can go there and it's sitting there behind the glass. But the pastor says, I want you to have this Bible, Connie. She says, no, no. And as she opened this Bible, I'm going to try doing it with one hand. This is not the Bible. It was muddy. It was dirty. Waterlogged. But as she opened it, it was all highlighted. Personal notes. It was somebody's personal Bible. And the pastor says, I want you to take this. Kind of says, I can't take that from you. No, no. And this went on back and forth for a little while. Finally, the pastor opened up the Bible. He says, God, I want you to have this. I want to show you something. And in the front of the Bible, years ago, it had the Bible. That he says, this Bible belongs to you. And God says, no, that's the only Bible you got in the village. He says, no, here's what I want you to do. I'm giving you this Bible so when you come back, you bring more Bibles and you go back to the States and you share this testimony with them and so I can have these Bibles and today I got word about a month ago that Sorella they could not locate her at the village at that time because they're still doing a lot of work but they did find her father and her father did receive Bibles to bring back to the village in their own language so that's really exciting but Christianity is the only religion that's different from all other religions Christianity is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ Amen. and people throughout the world are saying I want to know this Jesus I want to have that personal relationship I want to hold his word in my hand and there's different avenues they have the word they have um, the iPad and all different things but it's a written word of God and I, I, I just stand in amaze and in Revelation 19 I believe it's verse 12 it says, and the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy, for he been prophesied from Genesis through Revelations. And we're so blessed to have the Word of God. And as so we get ready, it's all about the Word of God. It isn't about me and my wife. It isn't about the Bible. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ and his prophecy that everybody may have the opportunity to obtain eternal life. And that's what it's all about, folks. I thank you for your time. Uh, as my wife said, we thank you for your giving and your prayer support. And we are just so honored to worship with you guys this morning because it's been a blessing. Thank you very much.